just when you thought the islands couldn't get more beautiful, we've arrived at the best one yet, I think. Welcome to the Maldives. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. No. Welcome to the Bilitong Islands. Today we booked a private boat for 500k IDR to take us to some of the most incredible islands surrounding Bilitong. Now if we haven't told you that we were in Indonesia, you wouldn't have even assumed. But after being here for 4 days, we were just shocked how beautiful the island has been and this is by far the number one activity I recommend if you guys come visit. So sit back and enjoy the action packed day with some incredible weather here in the Bilitong Islands. Yeah. All right, good morning guys. Welcome back. It is our third day here in Bilitong. If you guys didn't catch yesterday's vlog, we explored uh, the southern part of Bilitong. Beautiful day out there exploring the island. But today we are going to be doing an island hopping adventure here on a private boat, taking us around several different islands here in Bilitong. But right now, our driver that we booked is getting the boat ready right now. And we're going to hop on and head on out on the water. I gotta say, this is a pretty big boat. We have it all to ourselves, it's just us two. And the boats right next to us, they're packed. And here we are with this huge boat all to ourselves, going out island hopping in Billy Tongue. currently arriving at the very first stop which is the famous sand bar it, it looks like you're almost in the in the Maldives it's absolutely incredible and it's just us as well as the boat behind us <laughs> which <We just> landed <laughs> this is absolutely incredible guys it looks like the jet ski guys beat us here so if you guys want to do jet skis in Billy Tongue uh, we were actually looking do into doing one of those, but uh, weren't sure what the costs were. I think uh, what we should do next is just get the drone up and show you guys what it looks like from above. This place is just incredible and this is only the first stop i'm honestly, I'm honestly just amazed by billy billy tongue uh it's only been <laughs> i've been saying this literally for the every single vlog it's only been one day it's only been two days it's only been three days but each day billy tongue just seems to impress us even just that much more every single day uh we visit new spots here this is definitely an incredible experience there are a few boat tours um it seems that Right now, there's three boats here, uh, including ours, and roughly about 30 people maybe on the island or on, on the sandbar itself. But uh, we're gonna try to beat them to the next uh, to the next stop at least. I want to go back here. At but, the end of the day. Yeah, but um, actually, for your note, you cannot come here afternoon because it's going to be low tide. So this island will be covered by water. You mean high tide? I said, what did, what did I say? You said low tide. Oh yeah, I said high tide. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Getting tan. Immediately tan. Immediately. I don't need any tan. So I got about like, what, 40 people here? Maybe more? And we're gonna be the first ones to leave so that we can beat them here to the next one. Next island! <laughs> See, this is the fantastic part about having your own boat rather than being in a huge group like they are because they have to wait for every single person to get on the boat before they can leave. And with us, it's as soon as we're on, we're out of here. I want to move like a yeah. 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 We're now arriving at the next island. Got this huge rock on top. 
And the best part is that we've beaten all of the other boats. So we probably have like a five, 10 minute head start on all of the other tourists that are behind us. Woo! Whoa. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Welcome to Second Island. Look at these rocks though. Hurry before the boats get here. <laughs> gonna get a drone shot because it is just stunning these rock how are these rocks get here i have no idea jeez it's ridiculous this is really beautiful and it's such a beautiful photo spot and we i have to say we've been really lucky with the weather <laughs> So far guys, each island is topping the next. Well, the first one wasn't an island, it was a sandbar, but nonetheless, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. 10 out of 10? Uh, 11. <laughs> 11 out of 10, absolutely. Our boat driver is such a pro. Being able to maneuver this large of a, of a boat between huge rocks that are sticking out of the water, he's gotta be such a pro. But look at this beautiful island, guys. You've even got somebody camping there, right there. They must have the most beautiful sunrise in the morning here. Yeah, I think the one thing you guys need to be careful if you're gonna be swimming around this area, uh, we saw so many jellyfish, sea urchins, and we even saw an eel underneath the boat. Like, the water is so crystal clear here that you can see literally all the wildlife underneath the boat just going past you. It's, it's absolutely incredible and uh, <laughs> I might have to lower my voice because of the tent next to me. Hopefully I don't wake the guy, whoever is sleeping there. But yeah, this is, this is like something you would see on Castaway. Like a deserted island in the middle of the ocean. This is what it would be like. Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> I've never heard such wildlife before. You can just hear all the wild wildlife around this island. Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> I stepped on a stick. Okay, I think this is as far as I'm gonna go. We've just been uh, chilling and relaxing under this huge tree providing the only shade on the island besides the uh, forest behind me, but we are nicknaming this island. What are we nicknaming it? Stranded. Stranded Island. Yeah, because it just looks deserted. Looks like there's nobody living here except the one lonely tent in the background. So I think that's a proper name, Stranded Island. So if you guys want to come to Stranded Island, <laughs> this is... Comment down, <laughs> comment down below. I don't know what I was saying with that one, but yeah, definitely come to Stranded Island, guys. You heard it here first. That's the name we're giving it. All right, we're back. Starting up the engine so we can beat the other groups. She's worried about stepping on the starfish. Goodbye, Stranded Island. Here we go again. This is like the most picturesque like photo spot ever that I've ever seen. I had Catania just sitting on top of the boat and you could see the beautiful white lighthouse, something out of a out of a postcard, honestly. So cool to see. And uh, we're now heading to the island to check out the lighthouse um, and grab a coconut <laughs> to drink and enjoy the beach. Selamat datang. Pulau Lengkuas, Belitung. Selamat datang, Pulau Lengkus, Lengkuas, Lengkuas, Belitung. Yeah. Look at these beautiful palm trees in the background. Yeah, people are selling pop me and coconut if you need. You want to buy coconut? Oh yes. People need to know about this island and this island hopping trip. I don't know why in the world people have not come to Belitung. What a hidden gem. Hello. Berapa satu? Dua puluh lima ribu. Satu ya. Ini ini depan maritim tuh. Ada. Ini 
It's not his first time cutting a coconut. <laughs> Five seconds, bro. Five seconds, everyone. No? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. 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 Oh, Terima kasih. Oh, terima kasih. Yeah. This is the sweetest coconut I've ever tried. I thought that at first I thought that it's overpriced. put sugar. Well, it's overpriced. I mean, it's 25. It's not overpriced. It's fine. Well, in in Bali, you're buying it for 10k. Yeah, exactly. But for the taste that I got here, so sweet, and I, I will definitely pay more for this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where they're getting these coconuts from. Oh my god. I want another one. I need two more. It tastes like they put sugar in them. They're so sweet. If you come to the lighthouse, get a coconut. It's so good. I'm gonna walk up to see the lighthouse a little bit closer. So this is the entrance to the lighthouse. And, oh look, here's a map of where we are. Wow, looks like you can see some sea turtles here. And that's what the lighthouse looks up top. But it looks like closed it off. Um, so it's 9 to 16 o'clock. I don't know. Looks beautiful inside and from what Kintanya told me is that typically tourists can come up here and go to the very, very top. <laughs> top, well, right there, yeah. And I mean, apparently it's a really good view, but yeah, it looks like we can't go in right now. Let me just show you over the wall real quick what it looks like. This is what it looks like inside. The coconut was so good. <laughs> we're, we're willing to pay extra for another one. You can get in, but only until third floor. One, two, three. Not worth it. Oh, no. All right, guys, we finished our two coconuts. Incredible few out. Actually, it's only been like 30 minutes. Had an incredible time on this island. Now, off to the next one because. If we look in the distance, there's like 10 boats that, 10 boats that just pulled up. Just when you thought the islands couldn't get more beautiful, we've arrived at the best one yet, I think. Wow. What do you think? It's so magical! <laughs> We haven't even gotten off yet. All right, I'm gonna just jump off here. Whew. Our captain has gone inside there to take a nap while we uh, explore this little island. Wow, do you hear the birds? This is something you see out of Castaway, guys. Wow. I must say though, it is darn hot here, isn't it? <laughs> but we got some beautiful views. Well, our time on the island has come to an end. Um, this is one thing I haven't mentioned in this video, um, but I will go over it a little bit later in, in future videos that we're gonna do here in Bilitang. But uh, I have to say, this place is just so underrated, completely underrated. Uh, as I mentioned it already probably like 100 times today, but I think the number one thing that I love about Bilitang is that these people living here are the nicest people I've ever met in Indonesia. Like, Jogja is up there. You know, Bali, the Balinese are just really humble, really friendly people. Jakartans, when I went to Jakarta, they were so helpful. Uh, always answering my questions whenever I had some. Surabaya, we didn't really get to explore as much because we were only there for 24 hours, but Bilitang, oh my God. These last three days, the people, the locals, just smiles all over their faces whenever we come up and talk to them. And they've been the friendliest Indonesians that I've ever come in contact with. So, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do a separate video on like top 10, top 15 things I love about Billy Thung, but that gives you just a quick sneak peek. I had to mention it before we leave. Man, these last three days have been just magical here. Cause I've never been good at telling stories Yeah You're working around We arrived 
at the restaurant that is across from the port where we started our morning off. Eddie. And uh, gonna eat some fish. Wow. Wow. This looks really good. Look at my tan. I am burnt. And you can see my bag line here. Got some. Cancun. Cancun. We have calamari. Oh. The fish. And then there's some to come as well. More? Yeah, uh -huh. more to come. So the first the first day that we had calamari was on the beach in Bilitung. It was really good actually. It was probably one of my favorites. Hold on, it's really bright. There we go. Let's see how this one is. Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. Oh. I know this is better. But it's actually both are really fresh, but mm. I think this is more tastier. Crispy, I think. Crispier, more crispy. Yeah. Wow. Billy Tongue has been surprisingly great with food so far. Scraps, guys. Mm -hmm. And then this is the gangan. Yeah. yeah. Gangan. Mau cuci tangan di mana, Bu? Ada itu. Okay, let's. Oh my god, this is incredible. We just finished this entire like set of food. Ridiculous. We had uh, some shrimp, some fish, uh, some crabs, as well as some. I don't know what was underneath of that. <laughs> Rice and another fish soup. All for 80k a person, yeah? Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> One last thing guys I should mention is that um, the cell signal was actually surprisingly good here. Um, even as we were traveling between the islands, we had LTE data. Uh, I'm using Telcom cell for those of you interested. And I had no issues with, with uh, any outages. Me too. Yeah. I am using Indosat and it's working totally fine yeah so even as you're island hopping you could be posting your instagram stories if you wanted to um but you're gonna probably end your day here at the warong here on this island right across from the port um where you get picked up at in bilitang and uh the food here was amazing <laughs> yeah for all for like 80k a person it's um you might, you might want to even go to the port and ask one of the boat drivers to just hop you over. I to totally the, ask for that. Though. Yeah, yeah, just to come over here for like lunch or dinner. And you got an incredible view of the rocks. I mean, how did these rocks even get here is what I'd like to know. But anyways, incredible day here, <laughs> incredible day here guys in Bilitong Island Hopping with Catania. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, how much it costs? How much did it cost? Um, it's 80k per person. No, 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 the boat, the boat. Oh, the boat itself costs 550. Uh huh. That is excluded the um, snorkel gear. Snorkel gear. Yeah. And the other equipment. Yeah. So, so yeah, 50k more if you want to get the snorkel equipment. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so far we don't need that because we were. Yeah, there's a lot of jellyfish. <laughs> there's like jelly. We saw. Urchins. Yeah, we saw a lot of jellyfish. We, lot, we saw a lot of sea urchins in the water. Um, even a snake. Yeah. yeah, we even saw um, an eel and a sea snake in the water. So. What a wild ocean. <laughs> wild ocean, yeah. So hati hati, <laughs> um, as you're snorkeling. But uh, yeah, overall incredible day. Beautiful ocean here in Billy Dong and absolutely enjoyed our time here. So if you guys want to spend the 550K, um, and that was for the whole boat, not per person. We paid 550K for the entire boat and the snorkel gear and the, and the food's just a little bit extra, whatever you want to pay. It's it's so cheap. Yeah, for, like... Considering we're getting to five islands. Yeah, even more. We, we basically got to decide where we wanted to go. Yeah. And if Rhett and Claire were here, it would have been a lot cheaper, obviously, but it's just for me and her. 550k is just fine so overall great deal uh, boat driver was amazing he knew exactly where he was going such a pro so if you guys want to go ahead and try this excursion this adventure in Billy Tongue I'll put down some information below for you guys and you can check that out as well as contact me directly on Instagram if you have any other questions so thank you so much for watching today's video guys and if you enjoyed it give it a like comment down below questions and I'll be happy to answer them and uh, we'll see each other Next week, yeah. <laughs> Bye, peace. I'm gonna miss you, Blitok. I'm coming back for sure for this beautiful island and you. So this is our second island. Sama sekali. Oh, I forgot. It's supposed to be in English. Ambil dah, bapa makan. Well, you, uh, he said that you can consume it and it's going to be very expensive. So. Shall we take it? If if you're coming here to Bilitung, man number one activity find a great sunny day to come out here 
and enjoy the peaceful water. I mean, it's only us and maybe what another boat or two. I can't even see any other people on the island right now. Just seems to be the, uh, the theme of the day. <laughs> private boat and private islands. Chantik! Chantik!